Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Recently a lot of people are asking me about using the Canon EOS 600D and the Canon EOS 2000D for deep sky astrophotography. They ask me questions like which of these two cameras is better for astrophotography, which one performs better in deep sky astrophotography, which camera has less noise and which camera is more suitable for deep sky astrophotography. Therefore I've decided to do a comparison of these two cameras and about using them for deep sky astrophotography. So as you can see in the background I have listed up different aspects that are important when using DSLR cameras for astrophotography and I would like to compare these different aspects when using these different cameras. For sure in this video I will not talk about features that are important for daylight photography such as autofocus, image stabilization, but in this video I would like to talk about features that are important for deep sky astrophotography. But before I would like to compare these different cameras, I would like to mention that this video is not sponsored and I'm not being paid for it. So all products shown in this video were purchased by myself. And the opinions about these cameras are my own. But now let's get started. The most important aspect when planning to buy a camera is the sensor. Therefore I would like to talk about this aspect first. Both cameras do have an APS-C sensor, so the size of the two cameras is actually the same. In this case, when using a, uh, an APS-C sensor for astrophotography, will have a crop factor. When using these cameras, the crop factor is 1.6. When using a full frame sensor, you will not have a crop factor, therefore you can capture a wider view of the night sky. But in this case, we will have an APC sensor. For me personally, it's great because I'm using this camera in combination with my telescope. In this case, I'm sometimes capturing objects that are very small, such as galaxies. And in this case, the crop factor of 1.6 is great in order to get a bit more of magnification. Therefore, for me, an APC sensor is quite good. When planning to use it for your uh, timeless videos of the night sky, a full frame sensor would be great too. As I have already mentioned, both cameras do have an APC sensor, but there's a difference when looking at the megapixels these cameras have. Um, so the Canon EOS 600D does have 18 megapixels and the Canon EOS 2000D 24.1. So there is definitely a difference. But now there's a question, which of these two is better? First of all, you can say that the Canon EOS 2000D with 24.1 megapixels, um, it has more resolution for sure, which means that in post-processing it's easier for you to crop your entire image because you can reveal finer structures in your final image. Therefore, having more megapixels is quite good in astrophotography because you can crop your image in post-processing. When using telescopes for astrophotography, sometimes we crop the image a bit because the stars are not that perfect in the edges and corners of our image. Therefore, we usually crop our entire image, in this case, uh, more uh, megapixels is quite good because it helps us to crop our image in post-processing without losing a lot of details. In this case, both cameras have an APS-C sensor, but as you can see, the Canon EOS 2000D does have more megapixels, which means that the pixel size is smaller when using the Canon EOS 2000D. And the pixel size is something that's very important because when the pixels of your camera, of the, so of the sensor, are bigger, then the camera is better for low light photography. And as photography, we're capturing very, very dark objects. Therefore, low light performance is very good when using cameras for deep sky astrophotography. So in this case, the Canon EOS 600D does have larger pixels. That is an aspect that is very important to mention. Still, it's important to mention that the Canon EOS 600D is a bit older. Therefore, it's very difficult to compare these different cameras. So the Canon EOS 600D, the pixel size is better, which is better for low light photography. But on the other side, the Canon EOS 2000D, the sensor is a bit newer and therefore the technology is better. Therefore, it's very difficult to say which one performs better in low light. So far, I've used these different cameras a lot in deep sky astrophotography. And for me, the Canon EOS 2000D does have less noise. The next aspect I would like to talk about is the ISO range. And the ISO range is quite important as well because the ISO range, because the ISO value helps us to increase the brightness of our images. Both cameras can use an ISO value between 100 and 6400, so there's not a difference. The next aspect is the manual mode. When using cameras for astrophotography, we'd like to set the exposure time, the ISO value, and the aperture, and therefore it's very important that we have uh, a manual mode. Both cameras do have manual mode, which is perfect for astrophotography. The next aspect is live view mode. Live view mode is one of the most helpful features a camera can have for me personally, because in astrophotography, we like to focus on the stars and achieving perfect sharpness, perfect uh, focus is very necessary in order to achieve great results in deep sky astrophotography. Both cameras do have a live view mode, which is quite good. 
The next aspect is RAW. RAW is very important in astrophotography because in post-processing we can only stack images that were captured in RAW. I'm personally using Deep Sky Stacker for stacking my images and I can only stack these images when they were captured in RAW. This is one aspect and the other aspect is that RAW helps us to process our images easier. Therefore, it's very important that your camera can do so. In this case, both cameras can capture images in RAW. The next important aspect is the connection for remote shutter release cable. People like to capture images all night long. Therefore, connection for remote shutter release cable is very important in order to be able to capture images all night long, so in order to capture multiple images. Both cameras do have a connection for remote shutter release cable. The next important feature is a flip screen. In this case, there is a difference between these different cameras. The Canon EOS 600D does have a flip screen and the Canon EOS 2000D does not have a flip screen. I started with the Canon EOS 2000D and when using the Canon EOS 600D the very first time for deep sky astrophotography, it was so, so helpful having a flip screen for astrophotography. Therefore, in this case, um, the flip screen is a big advantage that is very helpful for deep sky astrophotography. So in this case, the Canon EOS 600D is better because it does have a flip screen. The next aspect is belt mode. Bulb mode is very important for astrophotography because it allows you to capture longer exposure times than 30 seconds. When not having a bulb mode, maximum exposure time you can use is 30 seconds. Um, you can capture images of the night sky with 30 seconds, but in deep sky astrophotography, we usually would like to capture long exposure times, so up to five minutes. The next aspect is the exposure time. In this case, the exposure time you can choose is the exact same. The next aspect is an aspect that I've talked about in the beginning of this video. So as I mentioned, the Canon EOS 600D is a bit older. So it was uh, released in 2011 and the Canon EOS 2000D in 2018. So there is definitely a difference when it comes to the sensor technology. So for me personally, I've used these two cameras for Azure photography and I think the Canon EOS 2000D performs better when it comes to noise. So I've captured different test images and I've compared the different images and for me the Canon EOS 2000D definitely does have less noise. The next aspect is how heavy your camera is. The difference is not that big. In astrophotography it's quite important that your camera is not that heavy, especially when using a portable mount uh, or in Star Trekker and therefore it's very important that your camera is not that heavy. In this case the difference is not that big. The Canon EOS 600D is a bit heavier but uh, the difference is not that big as I have already mentioned. But when talking about the price there is a big big difference. Um, I've bought the Canon EOS 2000D for around 350 euros with the kit lens. So the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens and I've bought um, the Canon EOS 600D used for around uh, 110 euros I guess. So there is definitely a difference. So as I mentioned, there is definitely a big difference when talking about the price of these two cameras. For sure, the Canon EOS 600D is a bit older, therefore it's not that expensive. But now about my final opinion about using these two different cameras for astrophotography. So if you're planning to get started into astrophotography and you're not planning to invest a lot of money, the Canon EOS 600D is better for you because it's easier to get started with because you do have a flip screen, which is very helpful in astrophotography for focusing for capturing new images. So it's definitely easier to use the Canon EOS 600D for deep sky astrophotography because focusing and looking on the display is easier. But on the other side, if you're planning to use it for deep sky astrophotography and you're planning to capture amazing images of the night sky, I would rather go for the Canon EOS 2000D. So if you're planning to control your camera with an astro computer or with your laptop, I would rather go for the Canon EOS 2000D because in this case, um, the flip screen is not that important because you can see what your camera is capturing right now on your smartphone or on your laptop. Because for me personally, the Canon EOS 2000D is better in collecting images of these very dark objects. So it does have less noise in your final results, which is a very, very important aspect for astrophotography. So as I have already mentioned, both cameras are good in astrophotography, but the Canon EOS 2000D does have less noise and therefore it performs better in deep sky astrophotography and therefore I would rather choose the Canon EOS 2000D for deep sky astrophotography because it does have less noise in the file images, um, it does have more megapixels which helps you to crop your images and post processing without losing a lot of details and it's a bit uh, newer which means that the sensor technology is a bit better. So for me I would definitely choose the Canon EOS 2000D. If you have any more questions about using these two different cameras for deep sky astrophotography feel free to ask me down below in the comments. And if you have any questions about using DSLR cameras in general feel free to ask me down below in the comments. If this guide and this video was helpful to you I would really really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise thank you so so much for watching and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.